Hey guys, RC here, back with Miss Survival Episode 5, and uh, I have swapped back and forth between my personal save and the YouTube save here a couple of times, so it does work, so happy days. Uh, it does take a little bit of finagling, but uh, anyway, let's see, what are we going to do today, because I don't remember, alright, I got a bucket. Oh, let's go downstairs. I know what I want to look at. All right, we got our workbench there. Ooh, can I... Let's move it. Oh, yes, I can. Damn it. Come on. All right, I want to move that kind of right up as close as I can. Excellent, we can do that. So that's a quick in and out. All right, we've got our water purifier built. So I need to get some water going. And the bears have disappeared overnight. So they will be respawning at some point, but I don't know when. So we're gonna have to be really careful here. All right, I wonder. All right, I can get up here. So this is what I'm kind of thinking. I am thinking if I go with no ladder here, I think that's going to be out too far, yeah? Yeah, I, I have to come way into the house. Now, I could go... Yeah, I don't think that's going to be what I want to do either. All right, so that's not going to work to the extent that I wanted it. Now, that will. That'll work out pretty well. Now, what I would like to do is maybe keep that right there at the edge of that fence post that'll be the second corner now what is that gonna do well we're gonna use housing as part of our fencing because they can't get through the I mean, we'll have to put some of these into the windows and that's okay but then here's what I can do Oh, can I move this now? Yes. I don't know why I get a glitch like that, but every once in a while. All right, we'll drop that, and then this we can now move. And we will drop it over, and then, eh, come on, a little bit more. No. Nope. little more there all right so this is what I'm speculating so what we can do is we can run chicken wire fencing out here and then down and to the corner of this house and then what that's gonna do is block these two windows and that window well crap now I got to get inside <laughs> um, that's my thinking. And then we you can actually tear down these two. That is not in the right spot. Uh, we want it right Okay, that'll shrink in. But that was lined up. All right, so that, and then what that'll do is that'll give us this corner that we can build fencing and we can move some of our stuff out there, like our fire, smoker, and get that out of this area and expand it out a little bit. So let's see, I need 10 components. I'm assuming I have some. I may not. 
Evidently, I don't. That sucks. I haven't recorded in a couple of days. Well, two days, so I don't remember. No. I am going to be hungry, so let's take our lowest piece of meat, which is that one. Let's go ahead and... Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and eat it now. We'll drink that. All right. So that gets us set up for the day. All right, so we need some components. Let me look at our workbench. To, um, that's not... All right, the other thing I need to build is a blacksmith. Now, where do we want to build this at? All right. Blacksmith. The table is the front side, so we kind of want this. Off to the side over there. Move this. First, then put it back. All right, well, that's fine. All right, so probably right there, kind of like that. Again, I don't know how long it takes those bears to respawn, so a little worried about that. Uh, let's see. So I need water. We need nails. I need... I'm going to need another axe. All right, we should have plenty of axes, right? I do have nails. And I got a hammer. And it used the component, damn it. That's all right. So we got a mist coming in. Um, I think, I wonder, can I put that up there? Maybe? Even if it's not realistic, right? Maybe, just for the time being. Yeah, it does work. You know what, and it's sitting flat. I'll call that a win. At least for right now, till we get some room. <laughs> I don't want the uh, zombies to come up and be hitting it. All right, so that's... Now, I don't know if they can get through there. That'll be interesting. Uh, no wood. Ooh, I do have some firewood. I guess it would help if I moved it to my inventory, right? Um, all right, you know what? I'm going to drop that. Right there. All right, we'll get that later. Oh, this is a bummer. All right. I don't think there's anything else that I can utilize. There's another axe. All right, so I'm going to have to break up a couple of cars while I'm out because I need components badly. All right, let me make a note here. So I need, where's my, where's my notebook? All right, so I need nails, which is components. I need wood. All right, components, I need eight for that. I need 20 for that. And I need about 40 nails, which will be four components. The metal scraps, I'm fine. I need 20 rocks. Because I'm going to need that to be able to make a sledgehammer. And it'll just be easier to build one here. All right. Rocks. 
None, huh? No rocks whatsoever. Hmm. Oh, there's a zombie out there. I guess let's go ahead and farm some. Uh, I do have a spear. There we are. Let's go ahead and sleep. That'll draw them in. They hear you snore. Sometimes. Or not. That's odd. And sounds like the mist just cleared up. All right. So the other thing I'm going to want to do is gather some wood and some rocks. I don't want to smash into that thing. Thank you very much. All right, let's... Come up here. Oh, did I already make a sledgehammer? I may have, because we started off at the forge, right? Let me check. Nope. Nope, that's the problem with having a personal save going at the same time is you tend to lose track of what the hell you're doing. All right, look, there's a lot of rocks right here. So let's let's do some gathering here. Oh, remember that tree we cut down? Yes, we've got some wood there. Oh, there's a couple more here piled up. Nice. Don't need the hard stick. There's another one. All right, some leaves. I don't know how many more leaves we're going to need. I think we've made all the lashings we're going to really need here in the early going, right? Just my thought. All right, let's see. A feather. All right, how are we doing on rocks? We've got 15. All right, so five more. Three, hmm, four, and five. All right, that should give me twenty, eight, sixteen, twenty, correct, and We'll go ahead and pick up a few more. Having an even stack doesn't hurt, so I can get two more. All right, let's go ahead and leave this in the truck. All right, we got some wood. We have got some leaves. I have got my 20 rocks. I'll call that good. And you know, I, well, we'll keep the hammer. All right, so let me, let's see, 20 rocks I've got. Wood, I, I can always use more. So now what I need is components. Lots and lots and lots of components. All right, well, this takes forever, so you know what? 
No, not that. We'll chop up a few here on camera and then we will do the rest off camera. And I think I've noticed the cars give different amounts depending on where you're at. It seems like the closer you are to the bandit camp or the closer you are to the bear, it'll give you more. I think we've done all this, but just in case, right? It doesn't hurt. And then these cars do respawn uh, in a, areas that you're not in. When you log out and come back, they will respawn. I don't know if it'll do it. Like if I would leave right now, go back to our base, log out, log back in. I don't know if they would be here. But, you know, I did play a little bit longer and they did, in fact, respawn. Because I think I'd already gotten these. And there's an example of the battery falling out. Um, let's drive up here. I think there's one in that camp. There is. Now, like this one, I don't know that it'll have a lot in it. Even sounds different, doesn't it? But you notice when you swing, <coughs> it does use your stamina. So always good to have some sticks that you can make something, you know. I also want to make sure I bring some water back to camp. See, that one didn't have a lot in it, and that's okay. All right, I'm going to walk slowly because I want the stamina to reef charge as much as it can. All right, let's see. Oh, wait, there was another battery in there. We got one of those. And I don't need the wood here, but I would like to put these things in there. And come on. All right, we've got 10, but I need at least 24, probably 25. All right, I don't have one over there. Look at the rocks up here, huh? All right, there is a car in here as well. I wonder if we could chop that up. Nope. You can always try to hit things. Some things will break, some things won't. So just for reference, it takes about 20 hits with the axe to break up a car. It takes about seven with the sledgehammer. And the sledgehammer takes less wear and tear on it as well. So just, that's why you kind of want to hold off. But you know, if you need it, you need it. So you do what you got to do, right? Come on, I'm stuck here. All right, let's whack this. I know we can get clay out of these. Okay, we can get, eh, I really don't need that right now, but since I'm here anyway. It doesn't hurt. And I honestly don't know what you can do with clay. I have not, um... I don't think I've done anything with clay. Ooh, a lashing. Those are, you can, you know how much it takes in leaves and kindling to, to make that, right? So, all right, let's see, a little more wood. There's some actual lumber, lashing. We don't need that. And 14. All right, let's see if we can find some more cars. All right, out to the road. I'm kind of turned around now since I didn't stay on the road. I am kind of lost. And that's okay. Ah. There is no bear here. This It says there's a bear, but I don't know where. 
See, this one only took a few hits. There's only going to be a few, a few good pieces in there. So that kind of gives you the inkling. Looks like another tire. Okay. It must not have been here yet. Either that or it respawned. I don't think it would respawn that quickly, though. You never know. But, you know what? Since we are here, and it looks like either I wasn't here or I was here in my solo save. All right. No, there's nothing in here. So I, I have been here. Didn't hurt to check. Did not hurt to check in the least. All right. And I I just got some ammo out of there, right? Good. Oh, looks like a couple more metal scraps. They do fly around sometimes. That's not what I'm looking for, though. The other thing to keep an eye out while you're out and about here is uh, those starter camps. I don't know how many there are. There's four, five, maybe six. So definitely want to keep an eye out for them. All right. We do have a car we can break up here. Oh, two gallons of gas. All right, this one's going to be a lot of hits, so you can know that we're definitely going to get something. I hope we are dehydrated. <clears throat> and that does get your stamina back, too. Probably would have been good to wait till I had finished whacking the car, but that's all right. I'm going to back up a little bit. That was something I saw. Oh, we got a gas can out of that. That was something I had seen Game Edge do, is you kind of back up. Uh, let's see. Destroy. And we'll grab all that. Oh, a lashing. Nope. Oh, there we go. Ammo. Nothing else. So I'm, I must not have been at this place at all. All right, not a lot of gas. Still going to take six minutes, though. That's consistent. All right, let's see how we're doing on our component pieces now. All right, that's 16. You know what? I want them all on one side. Just, all right, that's 18. All right, I don't need that gas can. Some more stones. Put some wood in there. I'm going to keep the sticks. All right. And. All right. So what did I say? 18. I think 18 of them. So we need two or three more cars. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to hang a right. All right, this is the bandit camp. If we take a left, that goes back to the motel, the bear. All right. I am going to stop here. We're going to run back to this car. I don't think we're going to get another mist. But what time is it? Yeah, I would like to get back to the camp. I have a feeling we may have to make a run through the bears back at camp. All 
All right, that was helpful. Got quite a few out of there. Oh man, this is the worst part of the game. I think this and mining just because it's monotonous. So tell you what, I'll finish these couple of cars and then we'll come back. All right, we cleared out the uh, three or four cars that were right there. So let's come and check out our inventory. All right, that's 816. Yep, that's great. All right, so now what I want to do is let me grab the bucket. All right, we're going to make a U-turn. If you get on the left side of the road here, when you cross the bandit camp right here, sometimes they will not aggro. Oh my God, see if we can maneuver through there at high speed. Awesome. And there are more cars that we could have hit, but you know what? I'm just not ready for that. I wanna get the sledgehammer. All right, I do want, I'm going to leave the truck running here. All right, we've got our bucket in our hand. We're going to run down here, and we are going to fill it up. And that's actually new. I think uh, you used to have to scoop it in or make the, oh, dumbass. Um you know, move it into the fill slot. So they, they actually did help out there a little bit. All right, we're gonna turn right here. All right, right there, right there. There is our ramp up. I wish we could break that gate. <laughs> I mean, I've only hit it like five times. And I am looking around for the bears. Sometimes you'll scare them away with the truck. Um, crap. All right, I want to move that. All right, and then I want to open this and I didn't even think about it, but it would have been smart to have had those. Oh, not that. Had those in our uh, inventory already, right? And I could fit. Come on, I want to get some more wood. I don't know how much I'm going to need, but I'm going to need a lot. I'll come clean this stuff up later. All right, that's fine. Uh, sawmill, would like to use that. So we're going to put this on the other side of the fence, I think. Yes, and then we'll move that right there. And I may have to rotate that. I think it needs to face you. All right, so if we interact with that, I can make, well, let's do one thing at a time. All right, you, we're going to give you the 10 liters. It'll hold up to 16, okay? But, you know, it'll, you only, you know, 10, 10 will last you for a long time. All right, you, I don't need these right now. I need to clear some space out. Actually, I do want those. Any other ones in there? No, I don't think so. All right.
right. Sticks, branches. I'm going to keep that. Cloth, I don't need that right now. We've got some wood. Oh, you know what? I can take that. Uh, I'm going to keep the hammer. I think I need a saw. There's my saw. And I can get rid of a feather. I'm just trying to free up some room here, guys. All right, I'm going to eat this. Boom. All right, I need... I've got my axe, so I want one stack of firewood. All right, now I need matches. Are those upstairs? They might be. I've got to have some matches, right? I mean, you find matches like all over the place at the beginning. Are they in the truck? And I am going to have to go out and grab. All right, how many spaces do I have? Not a shit ton. So let's drop some stuff off first. Uh, we'll do that and that. Actually, I can drop off that firewood here. All right. We'll drop this in there for right now. All right, open. All right, I do need the rocks. I would like the logs. Uh, no matches in here, huh? No matches. Okay, I might be screwed here. I, I am I just not seeing them? All right, no, 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 no. Well, the hell. Did I do with all the matches? Usually in your first bag, you get matches, right? Because if I don't have matches, I am screwed. Oh, I know where they are. I know where they are. You're probably yelling at me, and rightfully so. Uh, interact. There they are. I don't have a ton. In fact, I've only got one. I've only got one. Uh, let's see. Let me pick. Oh, I'm going to need to drop out. Um, hmm. Let's put the spark plug in there. Yeah, I've only got one flipping match. All right. This, I think, starts automatically. So all you have to do is have this in your inventory. One match, four pieces of wood, and four pieces of tree bark make sure it's got water and then you hit distill and it will start making all right we're going to drop the rest of the firewood out here and ah we don't have any more flipping matches that's that's not good that is not good all right well hmm How much does it take to make matches? Because we're going to need matches. I need branches and charcoal. Well, the problem is charcoal drops out here. All right, so we do have some charcoal. 
So I can make that and then branches. All right, I'm going to put these in here for right now. So 16 and 5. All right, so we can make 21 matches, well, groups of 20. And it takes five flipping hours to make that. Wow. I don't know. Usually I've got two or three stacks of matches by this point of the game. And I never have to make matches, right? All right. Well, that's fine. Let me turn my light on. I'm guessing the bears should be back. All right. We'll put the matches in here now. All right. I can get my... I'm going to put these... Nope. I want the saw the hammer and we'll put the charcoal up there all right I want to get some wood made first so interact with that let's make uh, let's do an hour this may be a, that we work through the night tonight I don't know And fatigue, thirst. All right, we've got 88% on the hammer. All right, we are dying. So let's see how our water's doing. All right, we've got two liters, so let's put our bottle in there and we'll fill it up. All right, and then we can drink until we have enough. Boom. All right, and then all we need to do is bring our bucket with us and fill it up once, and then it'll take, you know, a day, day and a half for that to all distill, but that'll be enough water for us to last multiple days, right? All right, let's go ahead and eat before that rots out. We're going to lose some of this meat. I expect it, so we're just going to go ahead and kind of splurge on it. And then we'll drink some more water. All right. Now, do I want to... No, not yet. I don't want to do that yet. So let's go ahead and sleep. And you know what? We're going to call that an episode. We've been here for much longer than I anticipate. And that's normal for me with Miss Survival. So I apologize. Guys, hit the like button, subscribe, and we'll see you in the morning. Take care.